Hey guys, uh, welcome to your singles love reading. This is going to be for Gemini for your uh, December 2023. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So um, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you, with you guys in love, uh, what your blocks and challenges uh, are, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, uh, if there's anyone new coming in for you. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective Gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about um, Gemini. Gemini. Gemini in love. What's going on with single Geminis in love? What are their blocks and challenges in love for December 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. For single Geminis. Okay, so we have the magician here, Gemini, Virgo, and the sun. I don't know. May, perhaps a lot of guys have overcame your blocks and challenges and you guys are manifesting the life that you want. It seems like you guys are pretty happy. Okay. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, the Sun, Leo energy with the King of Swords and the, yeah, Three of Cups. Yeah. So I feel like you guys have overcame a lot, you know, with the Queen of Swords here and the Three of Cups, you guys are definitely out there having a good time, you know, celebrating, meeting new people here. Okay. Uh, just enjoying yourselves. So we have the Justice card and the Five of Cups. This is interesting because I feel like you guys have overcome, overcame a lot, but I also feel like, you know, there's still some disappointments. There's some hurt that still lingers around. There's some sort of grief that still hasn't been moved yet. But I feel like with the Justice card, yeah, there's a sense of awareness to it. You know, it's kind of like one of those instances, like if you're still holding on to grief, still holding on to pain, you know, I do feel like it naturally does come up to the surface and it moves on its own. So I feel like you're just uh, allowing the process to work itself out. You're not forcing something to happen here, especially for yourself here and with others. Tell me about the Magician here. Why is the Magician here? Five of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Ace of Wands. Okay. Seems like you guys are definitely dealing with a lot of changes here at this time. You know, I feel like this is like also changes in your finances here too. Um, but, you know, I do feel like, you know, perhaps in the past you might have experienced a lot of conflict here with people that you were dealing with here romantically, even in friendships here too. But, you know, I do feel like there's a sense of like a new beginning that's happening here because I feel like you guys are stepping into this more happy and more optimistic energy here or that you guys are getting into this energy of finding more clarity here because I feel like you guys are spending a lot of time meditating at this time and purging yourself here, purging yourself of, of this energy, purging any residual energy that's been left that has been unattended to at this time. Three of Cups here and the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Justice card. Why is Justice here? Justice and the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn. Corn Taurus Virgo. Six of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely a sense of forward movement here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. A lot of you guys are definitely getting into this more grounded energy, this more stable energy, more of the safe energy with yourself here. You know, with the Queen of Pentacles, this is an indication that, you know, some of you guys could be a single parent. You know, some of you guys could be having a child soon. You know, some of you guys could be doing it through like the, uh, the, the, the injections or that some of you guys could be adopting or something like that. But as of right now, there's just a major focus on yourself. We have the Five of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so new beginnings are about to happen here. Uh, there's just a major shift in your focus, major shift in your energy here. And I feel like you're focusing on, you know, what's to come. You know, your wealth here, you know, your money, your finances, your home life here, you. Uh, what else do we have here for single Geminis? What else are single Geminis need to know, look out for, work on? for uh, December 2023. Is there anyone new coming into single Gemini's life for December 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Gemini's. We have the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Yeah. Someone here, 
Someone here will really balance you out. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, uh, Gemini, this person is going to make you really, 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 really happy. Temperance Sagittarius energy, okay? Yeah, this is a very safe individual. This is a very balanced individual here. I do also feel like this person is very protective. Or that with the Seven of Swords here, this could be an indication that you're overcoming, you know, your struggles with self-sabotage. Maybe some of you guys still do that sometimes or that you guys are actively working on that. Uh, Seven of Swords. We have the Four of Wands here and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, whoever this is, Gemini, this person is going to make you really happy. I do feel like this is going to be a very intense soulmate connection, a soul tie here, okay? I do feel like you guys might have a very spiritual connection with each other. Perhaps you might, you guys might share some sort of telepathy here. You guys are able to sense what you, you guys are feeling or thinking, that sort of thing. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Two of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Temperance, Temperance, and the Two of Wands. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like you will be triggered by this person, but I feel like you're going to trigger, you're going to trigger, you're going to handle your triggers in a much healthier way. Instead of running from it, you're going to sit with it. It's going to be really uncomfortable. That's why it's called a trigger. And if you're able to move through those emotions and work with those emotions, it will help you purge a lot of the stuff that's still lingering around in your physiology here, uh, Gemini. I really feel like you guys are really doing some great work here. Yeah, on, on yourselves. So uh, just continue it. Continue it. And not that you can't have a healthy relationship while you're going through all this. You definitely can. We all have baggage. It's a matter of tending to those baggage, staying on top of it, being consistent with it, and not bleeding all over other people here. We have the death card here, Scorpio energy, the four of wands, and the eight of cups. Yeah, your triggers might cause you to be in fight or flight response and you might dip out on this. And I feel like this is something that you don't want to miss out on an opportunity on because I do feel like this person is definitely someone that's right for you. This is someone that you've been looking for. This is someone that you've been dreaming of and they're right in front of you. And I feel like your triggers might cause you to be you know, to, to run away. So I feel like if you're, if you're going through this or that you've gone through this, you know, I feel like this is a good reminder for you that yes, if your triggers do come up, it's very uncomfortable, but sit with it, work with it, move through it. And it will just be better because you're transmuting that energy that no, that's no longer serving a purpose in your life. Okay. And you're making room for these, uh, this new individual to come in. I do feel like you have it. Like, I feel like you've moved so much. I do feel like there's enough room for this person to be in your life, but there's like little things here and there that's coming up that definitely needs a bit of attention here. But I feel like you will uh, be able to handle it, uh, you know, in a really graceful way here, Gemini. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye